Alrighty, folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again with a special Diecast review of a custom. This is a 2021 Timmy Hill. I, I want to say this ran at Martinsville in 2021, but it's the DreamWorks number 66. <laughs> Not that type of DreamWorks. Hold up, where's Shrek at? Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this uh, custom Diecast review. Alrighty, folks, we're out of the good old box, and let's dive into this Diecast review. So, obviously, I built this car, right? Um, this car has a metallic blue paint job to it. Now, this was how it was ran at Martin's. It had like a shimmery metallic blue. So I was like, you know what? Instead of doing a standard blue, let's upgrade it to a metallic one to make it even more accurate. And I love this paint scheme, man. The red numbers on the top really pop. You have this carbon fiber, kind of a honeycomb texture with a very cool little whoosh uh, design. So let's go to the roof, or well, if over, overseas it might be called the roof. I'm kidding. Uh, you got the hood of the car here. You got DreamWorks uh, Motorsport, I think. It's got a little bit of a gradient, so it's kind of hard to see. You got the DW right there. And you go over here to the front of the car. Now, these Toyota Camry front ends are so difficult to wrap because there's like four or five different decals you have to carefully lay in place. I mean, we're talking 164 scale cars, guys. I mean, they're literally the size of my hand. And you're working with decals that are almost the size of an ant at times. Got the number 66 there, Sunoco Camry. Got MBM, uh, Sunoco once again. Go to the left side of this die cast now. Um, there's a little bit of a gap right here, unfortunately. Uh, I probably should have touched that up, but the, here's the thing about it. Is usually the first time you build something, you inevitably, you know, it doesn't come out as good as the second time you build it. Uh, so if I was to remake this car, I would have uh, pre-painted this top portion and underneath this window with black. That way it would have looked a little bit cleaner uh, instead of it just having a blue line there. But it is what it is. Got the number 66, a giant door number, which I like. I think I like big door numbers. I think they look cool. Get a Cup Series uh, race car, Goodyear. Not sure what these small decals are uh, down here. There's like no contingencies. I love that honeycomb uh, design. You see with the shine, how it just like, it literally looks textured like a snake skid or something. That's pretty cool. Uh, RC, get DreamWorks, get the American Ethanol Ring. Go to the caboose of this die cast, get Toyota. Camry, DreamWorks once again, Toyota XSC. 66. Now, this car is not perfect, obviously. Uh, you can see a little bit of that blue gap right there on the right side window. But, man, I would love... <laughs> I would love to, like, had this car in the Doras Cup Series. I think that would have been really cool. Uh, but, yeah, man, I'm, I'm a sucker for metallic paint jobs. The roof rails are painted, right? Those are painted. Uh, again, the giant roof number. You got DreamWorks right there. Timmy Hill on the back glass. And you got RoofClaim.com. Now, I will say that the bugaboo about this car... Is the decal wraps a little bit long? I should have trimmed it more. Inevitably, there's a little bit of some ripples on, along the spoiler that I did paint over. Um, you know, whenever they, if you, if you have a, a long decal and it goes over a very uh, pronounced area of the car, it inevitably ripples. And then when you clear coat it or let it dry, it stays that way. So you have to chip it and flake it and work it in. So there's a lot of uh, bugaboos that go along with that, and inevitably you get a bumpy uh, design. But Regardless, really, really happy with the way this 164 came out, man. I love building these things. It also has that accurate Cup Series banner with the red Toyota markings. Love that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this diecast video. For all your 164 diecast shopping needs, make sure to go over to Circle B Diecast, guys. Use the promo code Diecast Buffet, and you can get all the newest stuff, brand new, and of course, save on shipping. Uh, which, who doesn't like that? That's all for now. Diecast Buffet, God bless, signing off.